It's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy, we find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy to find out about fun guy. Then you could do us to give this guy a try. Oh, hello. Nice of you to join us this evening. Good evening. No, really, it is nice. It's nice to have virtual company. So welcome. Uh, and thanks again. I've said thanks. That's twice. Three times now. I won't say it again. Um, for joining me here tonight as I investigate a Belit. Uh, I'm working a bit harder this year. This is something on Belit. I'm making that one of the things I really want to try and master. Master of Belits. And um, I'll never be that. And uh, this one... I've uh, pinned down, I'm pretty sure, as being the Lurid Belit. L lurid or Lurid? Lurid. Harder to say, nicer to hear. Okay, and here it is. Um, so let's have a quick look at what makes it Belit, and then understand why it's different to some other ones that look very similar. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's he talking about? He talking about Belitus Luridus. Here it is. Now Belitus, that'd be from the, that meaning like lump of clay in Latin. And Luridus, well that can mean lots of things. And in this case, it means pale yellow, which is like the cap of the Lurid Belit. Now he's got one problem here. We got a problem. Now he'd be right that this is in the Belitus family, but it's not actually Belit. This is actually Suelelus. So have a look. Now I've got a new sign. Suelelus. That means like a pig or from a swan in Latin. And this is Tuolelis Luridus. Now why it's like a pig? I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know that. Okay, I'm gonna choose this younger specimen here. You go a bit bigger, put my hand on here. So that's, that's a good size. That's the size of a nice saucer, a cup and saucer. This is more like the cup itself. Here we go. Lurid Belit. Uh, has very variable cap colours, but often starts with an apricot peachy. Funny they should both be fruits, both be fruits. Um, but often apricot peachy, turning a bit of a buff brown, can be a bit uh, velvety at first, then goes smooth and, and uh, shiny as it ages. Um, so here it is. Uh... It keeps saying er uh, a lot. Mm, keep your eye on it. Uh, and let's go underneath, so that's the cap, uh, maybe some slight cracking, not so much usually. Underneath, uh, I went the long way around there, what a funny little spin that was, what a somersault. Um, you can see here uh, that... Have you noticed how he says er uh, a lot? Well, he's thinking about what he's going to say, isn't he? He's, he's just filling in the gaps. He's real deal, he is. Filling in the gaps? He's supposed to be an ex, he's supposed to know what he's talking about, filling in the gaps. Real deal. <laughs> Fungi faker. He's a Mickey taker. Oh, take no notice of him, poor Cheney. He's all right. We love him, don't we? At the, the pores, the tubes, we've got that classic sponge of a belit. And they're here, they're like a, a rusty orange colour. They can start out quite lemon yellow as, as the young. This is a bit of an, ooh, that's a big lorry. Can you still hear me? They can start out uh, quite lemon yellow as a younger specimen. These are getting on a bit, actually, a bit older than I thought. Uh, and then they turn into a, a rusty orange, almost like a tobacco brown kind of colour towards the end. And even reddy orange as well. So it all sounds a bit variable, I know, but that's mushrooms for you. You know, that's the world we're living in. Uh, and then uh, a clincher for this guy, for the lure of Elite, is it's stipe its stem which has a net on it so we've got the pores there which we've talked about being orangey browny ready but this stem has a net now this looks very similar to two other belites superficially it can look like loads of them belites are bonkers they're just slight variations and differentials differentials i like it i'm gonna keep that word uh 
uh, cheeky little chunky monkeys they are. Uh, but the difference is here, this could look like the Scarletina Belize. Come on Dad, play the game. He hates me making these videos, he's always trying to spoil it for me. Someone's just turned up in the driveway where, where I'm filming and now I'm nervous they're going to turn up and have a with me. I'm just going to leave it running and see if they approach. I've got a bit of tension and drama, my heart's beating faster. They definitely haven't seen me. I know he's in the boot of his car, he's not finished. He's getting his shotgun, isn't he? Get off my land. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. So I don't know if this is going to be noticeable, but I've just returned, it's a bit darker. Can you see? I don't know if you can tell or not, but I've just got back to the car after completing the film. Watch the footage back and realise it cut off after three minutes. Uh, so I didn't get all the end on. And there was a big moment, a massive moment, when I cut the belief open. And it was like, I had a rah-rah band, there was fireworks, it was amazing what you've missed. It was like uh, the interval at the Super Bowl. So instead now I haven't got the time or the light to be able to pull that off again. So just go through the budget basic version where I just could open again and watch what happens. Let's do it now. I'll take this one. Okay, uh, this one's a little bit better for colouring by the way. You can see it's a little bit redder and yellower. Uh, than the last example and I mentioned some cracking there we are you get some cracking as it gets older there's that peach kind of apricot look as you see that uh, right I'm going to cut it open you have to be quick because it turns blue really fast ready Woo. Ah. there we go let's turn it the right way so it feels normal there you go perfect yellow flesh there's the blue and right across the red towards the base end the, the, the bottom there but look carefully here is a bit of a clincher for the for the um, lurid. Is that you have a little faint red line going across here, a dark red line that's only thin, and that's a clincher apparently for the lurid belief. I'm sorry, I'm staring at that. I'm trying to stare at the image to check I'm poking the right point. That's looking at you. That's looking at the image. Sorry. Great. Can you see? And there it is beautiful blue in right through, mainly in the cat flesh more than it is the stem quite reddish at the bottom. Okay, a um, couple of things. So where am I? I've not mentioned that. Where am I? I'm by the road. One of my favourite places to find fungi. By the road. Here we go. And just in the background, let's have a look. Let's have a little up that way maybe. Oh, I wonder if I can... It's a teaser. It's a te Do you know what? I might leave it at that. What tree am I beneath? This is... So I'm by the road, but what is it growing in association with? It's mycorrhizal. And it's growing in association with this tree. How good your tree ID? I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's quite unusual for this. Usual under beech or oak, it's neither of those, uh, but it can be found under this. And here is the evidence, there's the proof. So there it is. It's still running, which is great news. That means we're finished. That's it, complete. That's the end of the Lurid Belit identification uh, programme for this evening. Thank you very much. Good night. Okay, how did you do? Did you get everything? Yeah, I think I got everything. 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 Yeah, I think I he got cut off talking about the red net on the stipe. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the key differentiator to the Scarlatina bullet, which has red spots. Um, he didn't mention the severe black blue bruising on the pore surface, mm -hmm. uh, though you can see where he scratched it. Oh, and I counted how many times he said, uh, want to guess? Nine. 23. 23? 23 times he said, uh. In a five minute video? Yep. I made a compilation. Do you want to see it? Yep. So welcome. Uh, um, uh, and um, um, uh, um, could be a bit. Uh, um, so here it is. Uh, um, uh, the, the castato. Uh, 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 and then. Uh, uh, um, okay. Uh, 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 can you get me Susie on line two? See if Ray Mears is available. Could be a bit, uh...